Welcome to another one of my videos. This is Mr. V Basic Productions. And today I am going to cover a request by a, a good YouTuber named, I think it was Fallen Short Films. If you've not heard of him, check him out. He's awesome. So, <clears throat> here we go. Um, first, you're going to want to open Visual Basic 2010. And I've already created the project just to save time. It's up to you, really. So, first, what you're going to want to do is uh, create one through nine buttons here called CMD1, CMD1, CMD2, CMD3, CMD4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then CMD0. Now, if you know me, I'm not very good with the GUI part, hence the all over the place here. But, um, just try to stick with it. You might have to create your own GUI, unless you want to use this one. But, uh, let me show you what this program looks like before I go too much into detail. Some of the features of it here. Um, number one, you've got the cool, where you click it and it adds it here. So, two plus, or one plus two, sorry, equals three, plus six equals 9 divided by 3 equals 3 but not only that you can use your keyboard as well like let me clear all 1 and I've not gotten a lot of the features that I wanted to get on here because of time um, I might later in another video cover more features in here um, if anybody has a question about more features that you could add or any question in general about Visual Basic, just email me at mrvbasic at gmail.com or simply just PM me. But um, <clears throat> let's test out this button thing. Let's go 17 times 6. Enter does not work yet. I can get it working. In fact, I might do that in the middle of the video. But let's do 17 times 6. Enter 102. Now that is correct. I'll show you how to do this now. So we're gonna make obviously these nine video or nine videos. Sorry, I'm out of it today. Nine buttons, and then we are going to create a button called CMD Add, CMD Subtract or CMD Sub for Subtract, CMD Mole for Multiply, and CMD DIV for Divide. CMD enter for the enter button and your text box appears just going to be the regular text box one your clear all button is just going to be CMD clear and your decimal button is going to be CMD decimal or CMD DEC let's go to the code this is more important part of the project um, I did end up getting this code from another video well not the full code um, this part right here ended up getting from another video because of time running out once again um grr, every video that thing comes up no because of time um i will try to do better on that uh i've been like really overloaded but <clears throat> you're gonna dim first number as a single dim second number as a single dim answer number as a single and dim the arithmetic process as a string. Now, when you the rest of this I did not get from a video. Uh, when you click on CMD1, you want it to text box one dot text equals zero. If it equals zero, this way it does not go like zero one plus zero two plus zero three. It looks tacky. Uh, if it equals zero, then your text box one dot text is just going to equal one. If it does not equal zero, then you're just going to add, or your text box one dot text is going to equal text box one dot text and the number one. It's just that simple. You're going to uh, keep doing that with uh, CMD2, CMD3, CMD4, CMD5, and on and on. The only things you're going to uh, change will be this text box one dot text here 
change that like if it's CMD5 we're going to change that to 5 here and 5 here that way it's just replacing the number with a 5 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0 they're going to do the same now when you click on your add button you're going to take your first number your first number is going to equal the value of textbox1.text .text. Textbox1.text .text is going to equal 0 after that. Now your arithmetic progress is going to just follow the plus or add to the whoa. Whoa, what just happened? Alright, we're going to have the arithmetic progress as your add. Now you're just going to do the same here except for you're going to use the subtraction sign. Now this is the most important part right here instead of using your asterisk right whoa, not having a good day All right, instead of using your asterisk right here you are going to use an uppercase X very crucial that you do that or else your program will not work alright just keep doing that with the divide you're just going to use a slash <clears throat> now when you clear immediately you want your text box one dot text to equal zero now CMD backspace that actually you guys will not have to worry about I did not include that in here I don't know why it's not giving me an error for that but I actually ended up deleting the button so that won't be there and that you guys don't need to worry about either I was trying to add some more features to this but ended up getting lost but uh, in time at least lost but we're gonna take e dot key code this is to make the nice little when you press one here it's gonna turn dark blue and add it and hold even so e dot key code equals keys dot d1 D1 is just referring to your uh, number key thing as 1. Now, I am on a laptop, so I don't think it'll use the number pad. I'm not sure my laptop does not have the number pad like the... Uh... Yeah, you guys know what I mean, hopefully. But I'm not sure if it'll work on that. So CMD1 dot back color equals color dot dark blue cmd1 dot perform click what all else is just saying that you can change the black color of this button to dark blue and you're gonna try to click it but you're not gonna actually have to click it programmically it's going to click this button and then you're gonna do the same for here same for here same for here all on a lot of this code looks long but it's just repeating all over and over again even with the decimal you're gonna do it except for this decimal is going to be e dot key code equal keys dot o e m period then cmd dot des or cmd decimal dot back color changing it to dark blue then back to that <clears throat> so let's come over here now you're on your key up uh, event you're gonna wanna come over here and do the exact opposite so now you've got a button that's you know blue since you pressed it down but when you release this button you're gonna wanna turn it back to your original color so that's just what this is doing this is if it keys dot one is uh, releasing on the button then change the color to gray do the same with all these the OEM period remember that now your decimal dot click that was just what we were doing earlier just added that into the thing later now cmd enter remember this is when we click this button it's going to say if arithmetic process equals addition then answer number equals first number plus second number and if if arithmetic process equals multiply then your answer number equals first number times second number 
All this is saying is, you know how you go three times four. Well, three is going to be your first number. Four times going to be your second number. So therefore, you're going to add three plus four. It's going to be seven. So, three minus four, negative one. Three times four, twelve. And on and on and on. So, that's pretty much it. You're going to come over here and you're going to say text box one dot text equals this answer number up here. It's really not difficult, but if you don't get it, if you have a question, feel free. I will get to back to you really soon. Feel free just to uh, PM me or email me or uh, even check out my website. It's hosted on a webs.com domain right now, so it's just mrvbasic.webs.com.